Alright, so today we're going to learn how to do the half Windsor knot with our tie because um, we're not going to show up to an interview like this. Um, so we're going to make sure to button up our shirt all the way to the top. Go ahead and flip our collar up so we can throw our tie behind our neck. Um, putting the thinner end on our left hand side and the thicker end on our right hand side. Okay, so we're gonna gonna give ourselves a lot of slack with this thicker end, um, and maybe let this smaller end hang between the third and fourth button somewhere around here, because um, this knot's gonna use a lot of our tie. Uh, first step, we're gonna cross our tie right here, create this V, this opening. Um, we're gonna wrap our tie around. And hold this with our left hand while we're doing so. I'm gonna bring our tie out right, right about here. Gonna loop through the V that we created, pull our tie straight down, create this knot. Once we have this knot, we're gonna wrap our tie around that knot. And when we're in the back, we're gonna slide our thicker tail of the tie up through that V that we created create this pocket right here um, so we can insert our tie. So we're going to go ahead and put our tie through through this knot and hold the, the bottom tail and pull this down kind of firm. Create this knot. We want this knot more triangular shaped instead of being more rectangular. So we're going to give our ends a, a pull right here. Hold the bottom tail and the knot and pull that bottom tail down so we can adjust our tie to the to the width of our neck. Go ahead and pull that a little tight. Straighten out your knot. Um, make sure you have that triangular shape. Go ahead and fold our collar down. S fix our knot a little bit. And we have a nice half Windsor for our interview.